Today we're going to explore how independent contractors can find valuable RSS feeds and organize them in a feed reader so you can stay up to date on everything that's happening in your industry and with your clients. Once you've identified a list of everybody you want to follow, visit each of their sites individually and look for a link for their RSS feed. For example, this is Eagles Talent Development Center. This symbol is an RSS symbol and clicking on it leads to a feed of our articles. When you see that symbol on any website, it will usually take you to a blog or a news feed for that company. I'm just going to copy this address to my clipboard. From here, I can go find any feed reader. Our preferred feed, re feed reader is Dig, however you can explore for your own, for your own preferences. So if I just jump to here, Dig, I'll hit the reader option. And you see here right now it's blank. If I go to the search for or enter a URL, I can paste the URL that I found, and I'll search it out. From there, Dig will take a look for that RSS feed. Once it finds it, all I need to do is simply hit the Add button, and now it shows up at the side. Now every time that I click on it, it shows all of our recent articles, and whenever you come back into Dig, it will show them all. At this point I can go to different websites and look again for that RSS symbol, or else I can just go to Add and search out anything else. For example, I might take a look for Business Insider, which is a very popular source that has some great articles. There's a few options, maybe I'm mostly interested in only their tech articles. So I'll go to Business Insider Tech and Add. And again now, I can see it there. I can also go to All and see everything. Now let's say as things get more full and I have a lot more articles, it's harder to organize. For example, here I have a source about tech news and here I have one that has more contractor resources. So I can organize that as well. All I need to do is go to Add, New Folder, and I can decide from there. And now I just drag different sources into one. Then I can organize them all together. So that's really all there is to it. Once you're here, you can keep going and create something that you like for yourself. You can also download mobile apps, that way you can have something to look at if you're ever stuck while commuting or stuck in a waiting room. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.